think I was off-roading. All right, I got my ears on. Whoops. I can't seem to get a handle on it today. All right, I'm going to go out to deliver. I see I got one person. Hi, one person. Hi. Um, so I'm going to do what I did last time. I don't know if you were with me on the last delivery, but when I get to the guard shack, I got to hide ya. I'm not supposed to be on the phone. Which, technically, I'm not. It's doing its own thing up there, and I'm just talking to myself. So, hey guys, thanks for joining. Just gonna deliver. So basically, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go to the guard shack onto the private property. I'm gonna hide you, do my paperwork, put you back up, take you out there. And then I'm gonna, I think I'm probably not gonna show the facility for safety's sake, but I'll turn it around on me. And then I gotta get out and I got to you know, open the vents and like help the guy get set up and do my paperwork. And then I've got nothing to do for about an hour and a half. So I am going to sit there and talk to you guys and chit chat. So I'll be in and out of the truck. And then, then at one point he's going to ask me to come out and lift the tank in the back so that he can get the rest of it. It's a smooth bore. And so I'll have to get out and do that. And then when he's done, I got to get out and close everything up. And then I'll put you back forward facing and we'll get out of here. And then I'm gonna turn you off before we get to my uh, place of work. So you'll have, a, we'll have about, we'll about have an hour, hour and a half, where we'll get to chat. Unfortunately, I can't really read you guys' this stuff right now, but I can when I get stopped and I'm sitting there, turn it around and we'll chit chat. I don't really have anything specific to talk about today. Just, uh, I don't know. I'm sure I'll make something up. So, <laughs> I was playing with my phone um, for a second there in the yard while I was waiting for my time to be up. <laughs> and, um, oh crap, it says driving. I was supposed to do an on-duty. I'll pull over and change that. Uh, <laughs> and they have, like, this little Memoji thing that follows your face expressions. It's hilarious, and your voice comes out of it. Oh, it's so funny. I gotta change my status here. I screwed up. I got it on driving. Let's see if this guy will let me get over here. Oh yeah, he's messing with his forks. All right, I was supposed to put it on yard move, not driving. Stupid truck makes you stop to change your status. Hit the like button, says David. All right, hold on, aft locked while well, moving. I'm not moving. Yard move. Delivering. Save. All right, there we go. Hi, Nathan. All right, sorry, that's all I get to see. I'm driving again. <laughs> there we go, yard move. That's better, it doesn't take up my driving time. Which I don't think I'm going to need all my hours to get back anyway, but just in case. Like yesterday, we had to sit there and wait for these people to get off the hill. And that's why I didn't deliver last night. I actually probably made it here in time to deliver last night, but it was like really pushing it. And I was so tired. I'm like, I didn't even let him finish unhooking and hooking. I parked my truck and made him pick me up. And I crawled in there and fell asleep while he was still putting his trailers away. I thought that was funny. I'm like, I cannot wait for you to be done hooking your stuff. Because if I crawl in the back of my sleeper, I ain't getting out again. You're going to have to come over here. <laughs> Man, so there's this awesome lip gloss I just got. It tastes so good. And the cool thing about a lot of the makeup I've been getting now, since none of you care about it is um like the non-toxic the brits you guys got it figured out they you guys have banned like a thousand different things that can be in your skincare products and the u.s is banned like 10. so we're like piling this poisonous crap on our skin every day and your skin is super porous and like draws all the toxins in and so i buy off these very reputable sites and actually one of them is from britain and uh, called Tropic. Man, their lotion is the best lotion I've ever experienced. So there's like Fit Glow, Tropic, 100% uh, Pure are different places that have amazing products that look good and like, why wouldn't you use them? They're just as good. 
windows fogging up. Quit breathing, guys. You're fogging my windows up. Hold your breath. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Organic. Yeah, it's like organic and safe and like, and it's surprising how much stuff, like you don't even realize it until you actually start paying attention on mods. No, oh, what's a mod? Um, how much you put on your skin and in your hair and you don't really realize it until you start counting. It's like deodorant, lotion, even if you're a guy, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, like <laughs> shave cream. It's crazy. Then you get the girls in there and they're doing face masks and foundations and so, like everything except the eyeshadow is organic on my face right now. But I like the glittery stuff. So I guess my eyeballs are just dying. Do you know there's little bugs that live in your eyelashes and they love mascara? You know what else I found about the bugs that live in your eyelashes? They they don't have buttholes. <laughs> and they but they still eat. And so basically they eat until they explode on your face in a big poop bomb. Yeah, interesting, huh? Yeah, this is what I do when I'm on Facebook. I read this kind of crap. <laughs> Literally, crap. <laughs> okay, none of you wanted to know that. I see the room is emptying very quickly. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I had my friend text me a picture the other day. It's like, well, I walked into this room and you're on TV. I'm like, weird. Um, do I plan on coming back to the UK? Um, I wish I could say yes, but um, I don't, I'm working and it would be on my own dime and so it would have to be something that I would be going for unless someone was paying me to do an appearance and bought it, and, but I don't have anyone doing that right now. So, uh, me and Caleb have never been on a vacation together, which it's only been a year and a half and I haven't been out of the state in over two or three years. Um, and the place I want to take him first is to Bolivia. I freaking love Bolivia. I want to go back. Um, was that Bolivia? The Uni Salt Flats. I want to go to the Uni Salt Flats with him and show him that. Um, and then other places I want to go are like South Africa, Egypt, Israel, China, Mexico. So I've been to the UK a bunch and I love the UK. But I want to go to some, if I'm going to be buying my own ticket, I want to go somewhere I haven't been before. When I came to what? Truckers? Are you trying to say like when I was on Ice Road Truckers, did I like it? I understand there's sometimes a language barrier. But yes, I loved being on the show. Sometimes. Season 5 I hated. I hated Season 5. All right, I'm coming up to the guard shack, so I'm gonna hide y'all for a second till I get past the guard, and I'll stick you back up there. So everyone, hide. <laughs> I'll keep you on live, but I'm gonna stick you over here. You get to stare at my seat for a minute. And that, he's gonna check in the cab, and so I'm gonna hide you under my coat here in a minute. And as soon as I get by him, I just gotta let them know I'm delivering. It's private property, that's why they do that. Because once you pass the guard shack, you're on private property and you can't get there. Like if you were to come to Alaska and you wanna go to the Arctic Ocean, you wouldn't be able to get there because it's all on private property. And unless you're on like a tour bus that has the permits to go, unless you have business being out there, you can't go. All right, I'm putting my headphones down now. Hang on, people. I'm a coming.
guys, I'm rolling. Let me get you set up. There is a line behind me today at the guard shack. All right. Orientation locked. Yes, it is. Okay, there we go. So, <laughs> the um, we haven't been allowed to go in the guard shack for like three years or however long it's been since that COVID stuff. And they make us like stick like stand outside and put like our ID and our paperwork like up against the window so they can read it. I'm standing out there freezing my butt off, leaning up against the window. And the last time I was out here was the first time that they've actually come out and like looked in my truck. Like they usually inspect the truck, make sure you're not doing anything illegal. And, uh, <laughs> and that was the first time they did that. And this time the guy's like, you want to come in? I'm like, I can come in the building and I don't have to stand out in the freezing cold and try to plaster my paperwork up against the window. So that was cool. He was nice. He said he's tired because he played basketball all night till 10 o'clock and then had to be up at 4 a.m. Still at it. Having a blast. Heck yeah, we're out here doing this together. Line behind me on the interstate. What's the temp? Oh, crap. It's minus 21. Thanks for making me freaking look at the temperature. I was out there in my hoodie. Now I got to put on all my winter gear to go outside. Minus 21. That's ridiculous. You know it was minus... Um, these driveways are built so stupid. Come on. Get it moving here. Retard. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. But like... These, I don't know why they designed the intersections like this because I'm turning left, so I have to go out this driveway and he's turning in here, so it's like, I don't know. It's weird the way they build these. I don't know why. I don't even know how they work. Who has right away? I don't freaking know. And see, the guy that's going left or right is going down that other driveway. So weird. Anyway, so it got down to 38 below last night coming in. And I, that's when I was so tired. I'm like, ah, oh, I'm gonna have to pull over. He's like, it's 38 below. That's a stupid idea. And I'm like, but I can't stay awake and I don't want to run off the road. So he's like, so what are you gonna name your baby horse? Oh my gosh, talk about he knows how to wake me up. I don't know. I was thinking if it's a boy, I might name it Riot. And if it's a girl, I don't know yet. He's like, you should name it Isabel. I'm like, Isabel? And he's like, just kidding. <laughs> so. He woke me up and got me there. Oh crap, my farrier's at my house. She just texted me. She says she's got everybody caught and she's gonna start doing their feet. I think she does like half of them. I got such a big herd, she can, it breaks her back doing them all. I, did, I forgot she was there. I'm so glad I have a tenant. I'm like, I tell my tenant when the farrier's gonna be there and then she like shows up and just does it. But I couldn't go because I have to be back in Fairbanks tomorrow for this thing's going to the shop for the wiring harness and something else. I don't even remember what else. My list on this thing gets so long I forget. But it's for the wiring harness. Because I still got my check engine light on. I did a video on how to replace the sensor, I just didn't fix it. But if you ever have to replace the sensor and it does fix it, you'll know how. I hate it when you're an owner op and you gotta buy your own parts. So it's really hard to troubleshoot because you're like, something's wrong with it. So you're like guessing and you buy a part and it's like, doesn't need it. And you're like, crap, I just wasted money on that part because that's not what fixed it. So that's when you keep the old parts. I think it was covered by warranty though and they had to take the old part in order to have cover it by warranty. So I guess that part was good. But it was like, what, $15 part or whatever. Of course, warranty covers the cheap parts. <laughs> oh, I missed the question. I'm sorry, guys. You'll have to re-ask the questions when I get parked. Oops, I guess I could go the speed limit. I'm busy dilly-dallying. So, right outside of town, there's this drill rig. And it's been there. And you see the fire coming out and all that stuff. Well, there was a rig move. And I'm like, what are they doing? Like moving it back into town or something? And that's what Caleb thought too. And then he noticed on his way out that there wasn't a drill rig at the location. And I could have swore there's been one there this whole time. And I'm like, so 
so what did they do? Nothing looks different. It looks exactly the same. And he's like, no, they moved it out there. I'm like, but it's been out there. I'm like, no, it hasn't. It's been out there this whole time. And he's like, no, no, I get it because I thought the same thing and I didn't know why they were moving a rig back to Prudhoe in the middle of winter. Yeah, so we got to argue about that for a while. And he's like, no, I swear, because when they were pulling the delineators down to move the rig, I looked out there and there was nothing there. I'm like, that doesn't make sense because it is the only thing out here. Of course your eye is going to go to the one thing out on the tundra. How did I miss that? I don't know. So they moved a rig and nothing changed. <laughs> Sheep pad. That's where I'm headed. If I go, I go left for methanol and right for chemical. I don't even know. Oh yeah, I can turn it around. Okay, because I know when you're making videos with your phone, for some reason you can't turn it forward or back facing um, while you're videotaping. I think that's weird. I do you like my shadow? It's such a pretty day today. 23 below. <laughs> it's a friggin' desert out here. There's no mountains, no trees. Attigan, or the shelf, is the farthest north tree. And we got four hours of driving after that. There's no trees after that all this flat tundra man i can't wait to tell you guys some stories i got I'm, i mean not for the videos i got some stories of like alaskan legends and myths and stuff i'm doing a series on that and i got some that i've just looked up online and then i got other ones that i've actually heard myself so you'll have to keep an eye out for alaska myths i've recorded uh, two of them i think all right i gotta turn you guys around now for the privacy of the company, um, let's see what I'm delivering. I'm delivering 1509A. Oh crap, I guess I should probably call somebody. Let them know I'm here. I'm retarded. Baby, can you hear me? I'm doing a live. Can you call CPAD? I totally forgot. Text me if you don't want to and I'll just call from here. I just gotta turn the live off. 1509A. He's like, I don't like calling CPAD when you're on the freaking phone. Boy, I'm just... He says you call. Alright. Well, I see somebody standing over there. Guys, I have to call. So, hold on a minute. I don't know how to... I don't know if it's going to pause it or what. Let me try it real quick. Did that work? Are you guys back yet? I can't even see the phone. Someone called me. Yep. What is going on? Yeah, everyone's left. Oh my goodness, it's hot. How does, is this thing working? I don't want to cancel it, but it's not doing anything. 